What's the thing that scares you the most? It is now official. Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt Rogers and welcome to our trailer discussion for American Horror Story Cult. Now, uh, this trailer dropped early this morning and uh, we've had a few teasers this week. We actually had the opening titles drop yesterday, which is interesting to have the opening titles back. I'm glad to see it for one. There was a lot of comments saying that they've changed the theme song too much. It's a bit too uh, patriotic sounding rather than creepy, but we obviously didn't have the intro last season, so it's nice to have it back. Now, in the opening of the uh, trailer here, we saw it's uh, obviously based on the election, at least at first, uh, because uh, Ryan Murphy mentioned in an interview uh, probably a few months ago now that uh, it would have something to do with uh, the election. Not sure how heavily it would be influenced by it, but by the look of that intro, it looks like it may be more heavily uh, influenced by it than I thought. Um, And it's quite an overdramatic reaction to uh, Trump becoming president, that's for sure. But anyway, let's take a further look. So we've got um, Sarah Paulson's character there talking to Shannon Jackson, who's obviously her psychiatrist, something like that. He mentioned she has coulrophobia, which is fear of clowns. And if you've watched any of the teasers, you'll see that there's a lot of clowns or hints at clowns uh, for this cult season. Now, she mentions in the session that uh, her coulrophobia has gotten worse since the election, maybe due to anxiety or something. But uh, I think these clowns are somewhat real because uh, they're obviously pestering her. We'll see later in the trailer that uh, she starts getting, she, either she starts seeing things or that she actually is seeing what's actually there um, in these clowns or this cult that it's appearing to be. Prince of the coulrophobia? Yes, the clowns. So she's in some sort of uh, relationship with the woman there. She's got a kid by the look of it. As you saw there, no one seems to believe that uh, there are these clowns around. I bet you there's something real about them, but whether she's seeing things as well, not too sure yet. It fills your heart with dread. Now, um, Evan Peters' character and Billy Lord, who's joining the cast's uh, character, she seems to be some sort of psychiatrist. We'll see more of that in a second. But uh, her and Evan Peters are talking about what uh, really troubles them. And she says that children troubles them, but then goes on in the next scene to be talking about children and uh, comforting the children with clowns, which uh, she then goes to tell them that not to tell her mother because obviously it's a clown, which as you can see there is Twisty the Clown from Freak Show, which is a nice little Easter egg there. We did have a hint on Ryan Murphy's Instagram account that he would be uh, doing some sort of uh, throwaway to Freak Show being Twisty the Clown, and now uh, we see it right here. I'm not making this up. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Now, uh, Evan Peters is doing a voiceover there saying if you can get people scared enough, they can uh, basically make the world burn, Uh, which means that he may be some sort of leader for the cult or at least some sort of authoritative figure ordering these clowns around to, for some reason, recruit Sarah Paulson's character. I'm not sure why they would want to because she doesn't seem like there's anything too special about her, but they're obviously bothering her for a reason. Maybe there is something hidden, uh, some special quality in her that they want. Evan Peters is uh, obviously trying to get her recruited to this cult, would be my guess. Um, but I guess we'll see. It's the most intense physical pain you've ever experienced. And we see more uh, clowns tormenting Sarah Paulson's character there, her and her family by the look of it. And uh, that's it for the trailer. So I guess we'll find out more on September 5th when uh, the first episode airs. Now, the first episode's called Election Night, so I have a funny feeling that it's all going to get started with the 2016 election in Michigan, as it says uh, earlier in the trailer. So um, not much longer left to wait now. I guess we're going to find out all of our uh, theories that we've been discussing for over a year now of what this season's going to be. I, for one, am again glad that uh, they're sort of going back to their roots with American Horror Story, not sort of doing the reality show. It was kind of nice to have Roanoke as sort of its own thing, trying something different, trying something new, but I'm glad they've come back to the normal formula here. I guess we'll find out uh, how it ranks when it airs on September 5th. Now, I'll be doing weekly reviews as uh, the episodes come out, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. But thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers. Signing off.